Okay, here we are at um, the north end of Fields Cut. We're going to be traveling north through the cut. You can see there's a hammock on the right hand side and close to the water there's a pretty tall tree and there's one cedar tree there. According to our um, tide chart here, we're on a falling um, tide and we still have 5.2 feet to low tide. So any readings that we have here on our uh, depth you su could subtract 5.2 and that'll give you the low tide and see that you have still plenty of water to go. The trick of going through fields cut on the north end is stay on the green side which is the um, Atlantic shore side and stay close to the bank, the cedar tree and the um, large tree. Okay, um, we're in the middle of the river and we're going to head straight for the cedar tree. There's still 15 feet of water out here. But as we get to the um, right hand side, um, you could come over a little earlier and still um, gain more water. Now we're going to the right hand side and you can see that uh, it's rapidly increasing. Okay, on this right hand side, see we still have um, 20 feet of water, 21 feet, it's still going up. We're all the way over to the bank now, there's 26 feet of water over here by the cedar tree. Here's the big cedar tree right here, 27 feet here. Once you pass the um, cedar tree, you want to turn back out, it's 30 feet of water, turn back out to the middle of the river. We're going to gradually turn out to the middle of the river, which will keep us in um, deeper water. 31 feet through here. This is right next to the it's two feet of water and people get stuck. In the channel. Okay, now you see the, um, it's going to drop off a little bit here. What we're going to do is turn off and head straight for the green um, marker. Now we're basically back in the uh, middle of the channel and we're good to go.